Welcome to this uh, demo painting of an apple. Um, I've got a palette here to make it easier to select colours and a little sketch. I've also uh, done a mask which makes the painting easier. It's not by any means necessary but um, it is uh, a handy thing in Photoshop. So I'm going to use pretty much uh, two brushes, the wet on dry around, and I'm going to first paint some um, shadow area in blue. And just following the shape of the apple. So what we're doing here is essentially the underpainting or the first layer of the paint. Once I've done that I'm going to smudge or liquefy using the smudge add water brush. And for the more delicate areas, I'll use the Smudge Delicate Blender. So I'm going to add another layer. This is the equivalent of having let the paint dry. And we're now going to start to build up the apple, uh, this time using um, a purple colour. It's quite important to be a bit careful with the choice of colours because um, with the layer mode set to multiply certain colours like let's say blue and yellow um, which are on um, which com are complementary colours on the opposite side of the colour wheel will give a kind of a muddy um, a brown colour whereas let's say purple and orange or purple and yellow will give a reddish or red colour. So I keep building it up like that, keeping the shape of the apple and as we build it up using a relatively small brush like this it's going to also give texture. So again when we smudge keeping the shape of the apple in mind. And of course keeping in mind the where the light is shining.
So putting a little bit of texture here, again using the same wet on dry round brush, a little bit of delicate smudging, a little bit of brown for texture along the apple itself, again keeping the shape of the apple, and a little bit of gentle smudging to soften it a bit. Just to speed things up now, I'm going to use the Wet on Dry Mop brush, which is um, quite like a traditional mop brush. It's bigger, softer. It's also um, a bristle brush like the Wet on Dry Round brush. And again, I keep the shape of the apple in mind. So you can see what's happening here is that as we build up the um, the layers, we're getting more color, more luminosity, and more depth. So that's the process that we need to follow for this kind of painting to um, paint a layer. And then create a new layer and paint on that again, which is exactly equivalent to putting down some paint in traditional painting and letting it dry and then putting more paint over it. So this is a classical watercolor technique. And you can see how it gives a lot of depth. It's one of the wonderful things about watercolors. So I'm going to do, doing the same thing here with the leaf, again building it up. A little bit of smudging. I'll use the wet on dry rigger to give more detail. And again, as you can see, having the palette uh, there makes it very, very quick to pick colors. And because they're essentially complementary colors, um, there's not too much risk of messing up the painting by making it all muddy looking. At this stage we can collapse all of these layers and start to paint the shadow area. Again I'm building up layers here. In fact I'm painting it on the same layer but um, in this case it doesn't really matter too much because I'm not looking for luminosity here, I'm just looking for more colour. I could actually simply increase the uh, opacity 
and get more colour in that way more quickly. And I'm going to pick some blue to make it a little bit darker around the apple itself. So I'll just collapse that uh, shadow layer and then using a delicate smudge just um, um, soften the line between the apple and the shadow. So I've taken the sketch off now. I'll use the wet on dry rigger to give a little bit of detail, the veins on the leaf. A little bit of the outline of the leaf. I just smudge a little bit here to um, remove them because it's, it's a bit strong, I think. And I'd use the smudge out water to just soften the apple a little bit. Not too much. And add a little bit more colour. I've used the eraser scatter just to add a bit more highlight. And now I'm using the wet on dry mop brush to uh, reduce that a little bit. I'll use the paint separate brush to add a bit of texture. This is a very good brush to use uh, to give the impression of um, pigment that's separated out. And now I'm going to paint some marks or, or blobs or something you know you, you sometimes get on apples a little bit of green paint uh, again using the wet on dry round and then using the eraser dry brush round um, I'm going to lift some of that paint off so that brush works like a dry brush uh, that's lifting the paint off I then use the smudge delicate to just soften that a little bit. So that's not too bad uh, enough for the moment. Um, I've painted a number of other apples. Uh, the apple is a great uh, subject to use because it's got all of the features of uh, roundness, color, uh, luminosity, um, texture, and so on. So it's a good thing to. It's a good uh, subject to to practice on, which is what I did here before painting the demo painting. And here's the the one we just did. And uh, as you may have realized, I've used only a few brushes, two erasers, two smudge blenders, and three brushes. And all of these were Bristol brushes, 
and they're not available pre-CS5. All the brushes are available at uh, paintingdigitally.com. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.